from WWL-TV, the spirit of Louisiana. This is Louisiana's News Leader, Channel 4's Eyewitness News at 6. Significant news today from the BP claims czar Ken Feinberg as he announced that most victims will get double their losses from last year's spill. In a statement today, Feinberg said he expects the region to recover within three years and the fund will use that assessment to determine how much to pay spill victims in final settlements. Some will be offered double final payments. However, oyster harvesters will be offered four times their documented 2010 losses. Some of the people who are desperately, some of the people who didn't get the six-month payment, who doesn't have anything else, are going to take that two-year thing. And for the shrimpers, 8, 08, and 09, them, some of the worst years we ever had because of price, not because of production. So you're going to take two of the worst years, add them up, and give me a check, and hope I can make it. Some people are going to have to take it because they're on the verge of losing everything already. The Gulf Coast claims it has so far paid about $3.3 billion to 168,000 claimants, but many are still waiting for any money. We'll have more reaction to today's news coming up tonight at 10 o'clock. Next on Night Watch, the latest on the wintry weather mix moving into southeast Louisiana. How low will the temperatures get and which areas could possibly see icy conditions? What caused the Jefferson Parish School Superintendent to step down? The BP claims are unveils major changes in the claims payments, allowing some affected by the oil spill to get double the payout. But some still say it's not enough. And more families come forward after an action report uncovered a grave mix-up in a city-owned cemetery. Bill Capo finds out what the city plans to do to streamline the process. From WWL-TV, the spirit of Louisiana, this is Louisiana's News Leader, Channel 4's Eyewitness News Night Watch. That decision comes the same day that Feinberg announced changes to the claims process. He now says most victims could get paid twice their 2010 losses. But as Monica Hernandez reports, some are not so sure that's enough. I'm a commercial fisherman, full blood. George Barisic has dedicated his life to shrimping and oyster farming, but his shrimping boat has been docked since the BP oil disaster began 10 months ago. And he has mixed emotions about the latest announcement from BP Claims Administrator Ken Feinberg and that most victims could get double their losses from last year's all, spill. It's all based on Feinberg's expectation that the region will recover within three years. But there are questions about about whether that's realistic. As people find more oil, because they're all finding oil, and the truth be known, when more studies come out, we may have a, a, a worse problem later on than we do now. Feinberg believes oyster beds could take longer to recover, so oyster harvesters could get quadruple their documented 2010 losses if they apply for a final settlement. Feinberg says he's basing those calculations on a Texas scientist study showing it could take up to 10 years for some oyster beds to get back to normal. But Representative Walt Leger believes the announcement leaves more questions than answers. At this point, I think it's, a, it's still a little premature to determine uh, to what extent the damages will continue. I think um, that it's an attempt to try to convince people to accept a final settlement um, and move on. We're still seeing a lot of birds with oil in the marsh. We're still seeing a lot of oil washing up into the marsh. And until we're made 100% and that's cleaned up, uh, I have to be suspicious of all aspects of, and you've heard it 100 times over and over, BP wanting to pack up and go home. In a statement today, Feinberg said, predicting the future of the Gulf is not an exact science. There's obviously some unknown risk in attempting to determine any recovery period and he said any victim who doesn't want to accept a final settlement for future losses can opt to accept an interim payment for quarterly losses instead. The most important thing for claimants is that they're treated fairly. They have some transparency in why their claims were approved or denied and how these amounts were chosen. Meanwhile, fishermen like Barisich wonder if Feinberg's proposals will be enough. Monica Hernandez, Eyewitness News, Night Watch.
Now, for the first time today, the Gulf Coast Claims Facility released a draft proposal that spells out its criteria for claim eligibility and its methods for calculating final payments and future losses. The draft is posted on the GCCF's website. It's open for public comment for the next two weeks. And after that, the GCCF will adopt final rules for paying out claims. Dennis? All right, Monica, thanks.